Hi friends. So today for writing, we're going to dig into something called conjunctions. So you are going to follow along with me and get a great little mini lesson on conjunctions because I wonder, I'm sure you're wondering, what does that even mean? Say it with me. Conjunctions. We will learn that very soon. And you should have also printed out this worksheet to go along with our lesson today. All right. So conjunctions connect words, phrases, or sentences. So I am sure many of you use these in your writing day to day and you don't even know you're using them. All right, let's learn a little more. Here are some examples. So right here, we have two sentences. She does not like eggs. She does like waffles. Well, those are okay sentences, but third grade writers are able to combine their thoughts with lots of details into one sentence. I have the rule seven up sentences. If you do not have seven words in your sentence, you are not doing your best writing. So this friend has two sentences with one, two, three, four, five. And look how they combined it using a conjunction to help them make it a better sentence. So they put in the word, but. Read it with me and see how this sounds. She does not like eggs, but she does like waffles. Okay, see how that helps the reader understand everything that the writer is talking about breakfast, right? Their favorite and least favorite breakfast foods. So let's look at a little bit more. Okay, here is a list of common conjunctions. And, yet, also, or, so, however, for, but, then, nor, because, and, if. You also on your paper have a list of some other conjunctions, okay? So hang on to that because good writers use them. All right, are you ready to practice putting in conjunctions to make them make sense? Let's go. Which conjunction? I went to the movies, blank. I had popcorn. Which one do you think would make sense? I'll give you a minute to think about it. All right. I'm going to plug each of them in. And when you hear the right one, I want you to scream so loud that I can hear you all the way over at Gullet. All right. Are you ready? I went to the movies, but I had popcorn. Mm, I don't know. I went to the movies because I had popcorn? Some friends don't like popcorn, so just because you go to the movies doesn't mean that you have to have popcorn, right? I went to the movies and I had popcorn. Does that make the most sense? Kiss your brain and do the whoop whoop cheer if you knew that one. All right, ready for another one? Keep having to move myself so that you can see the sentence. Ready? We can practice our math facts blank. We can read. Hmm, I'll give you a minute to think about that one. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna plug them in. I want you to yell as loud as you can so I can hear you when it sounds like the right conjunction. We can practice our math facts so we can read. Do math facts help you read? Maybe math word problems, but not math facts. So, no. We can practice our math facts or we can read. Hmm? Hmm? Did I hear something? Oh, I don't know. Let's see. Let's try the last one. We can practice our math facts, yet we can read. That does not make sense at all. So which one did you pick? Hopefully you picked or. We can practice our math facts 
or we can read. They have the choice. All right, give me a ooh, doggy if you got it right. All right, next one. We all wanted to play a game blank. We were too tired. All right, I'm going to give you a big hint on this one. When you use this conjunction, a lot of times you are kind of comparing two different things or something good with maybe something bad. We all wanted to play a game, but we were too tired. We all wanted to play a game or we were too tired or we all wanted to play a game also we were too tired. Hmm, which one? Waiting to see if I can hear you over here at Gullet. <laughs> I think I heard some of you say, but let's plug it in again and see if it makes the most sense. We all wanted to play a game, but we were too tired. Yep, raise the roof, you got it. All right, another one. It is cold blank. I will wear a coat and hat. Take a minute and plug them in. Which one do you think it is? All right, I'm gonna read them. When you hear the one that makes the most sense, I wanna hear you all the way over here. It is cold because I will wear a coat and hat. Just because you wear a coat and hat doesn't make it cold, does it? No. It is cold if I wear a coat and hat. That's kind of the same thing. So if I put a hat and a coat on, is it going to make it cold outside? No, I don't think so. I'm not Mother Nature. All right, let's try the next one. It is cold, so I will wear a coat and hat. Oh, I hear some of you. That is correct. Good job. I can go to the party blank. I can't stay late. Which one do you think makes sense? If, however, or also. Hmm. I can go to the party if I can't stay late. That doesn't make sense. I can go to the party, however, I can't stay late. Oh, I'm hearing something. Am I hearing some of you? Let's plug in the last one. I can go to the party. Also, I can't stay late. Hmm. Which one do you think makes the most sense? You should have picked the conjunction, however. So that was a great little mini practice and hopefully that was pretty easy for you. But I'm gonna leave you with a question. Why would a good writer want to use conjunctions? Why do you think good writers use conjunctions? Well, conjunctions, like I said at the beginning, help make your sentences stronger and more detailed. Instead of reading a lot of baby sentences with three words, if you add that conjunction, sometimes you can combine two sentences that were eh, iffy and make it a fabulous sentence. Okay, guys? So now that we finished that, I would like you to make sure you have your conjunction worksheet. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you so that we can do a little bit more practice together. And then I am sending you off on your own. And it's going to make me do it two times, like always. One more time. I don't know why, but it does. All right, here we go. So on the left side, it gives a lot of conjunctions, okay? We've got for, and, nor, but, or, yet, so, because, however. And the great thing about this is it also gives you kind of a little bit of a meaning um, of that conjunction. When we can use it, when is appropriate time to combine it or add it when we're combining two sentences. If you would like 
on the back, you can pick a couple and write a few sentences, but you do not have to do this. Normally, we would cut it and put it in our notebook, but we're not going to do that today. So we do not need to write a sentence under the flaps, but if you would like to write a couple on the back, that would be awesome, okay? You do not have to. All right, so let's go ahead and look at our directions. Circle or highlight the conjunction in each sentences, in the sentences below. Now, here's the thing. I need the honor system here. I want you to take a minute and I want you to look over these words, let them burn into your brain so you never forget these common conjunctions. I'll give you one minute to look at them. Okay, now I would like you to go ahead and fold your paper because yeah, it's pretty easy to look off the list to answer this. I want you to try to do it without looking. Do you think you can do that? I'm watching you. All right, we're gonna do three together and then I'm sending you off on your own. Circle or highlight the conjunction in the sentences below. I love having milk and cookies as a snack. Which one do you think is the conjunction? Go ahead and circle it. All right. You should have circled and. If you got it right, kiss your brain and do the woot woot chair. Whoop, whoop. All right, let's look at number two. I do not like cats, nor do I like dogs. What is the conjunction in this sentence? What word kind of breaks it apart or actually kind of helps it go together. Go ahead and circle it. Okay, you should have circled nor. Okay, if you got that right, give me a ooh, ooh. Ready? Ooh, ooh. That's called do the disco. All right, so here is what you will be doing. You will be doing three all the way to 10. You're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna read each sentence and circle the conjunction. When you are all done, then you may go back and unfold this and just double check your work. That is fine with me, okay? But I would like you to be honest with yourself and try to do it first without looking, okay? And then you are going to post your, what, are, what did we learn today? Your conjunctions on your discussion post for three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. I know that seems like a lot, but it's one word that you're typing in, okay? All right, I hope you know a lot about conjunctions and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye guys.